Let's have a look at some of the extended features introduced in the Nord Stage 2, the Nord Piano 2 and the Nord Electro 4D together with the Nord Sound Manager version 6. The programs in these Nord units refer to the pianos and samples they use by name instead of location. This means that you can move a sample if you want to and the programs will still find it. And here's another great thing. You can load a program and if the piano or sample that this program requires is not there, just add that component later. Let me show you. I am adding a program and the manager tells me that it's missing a sample. No problem. I just head over to the sample partition, download that sample to any location, and the program is fixed. The extended features have various ways of displaying the files and their dependencies. Info can display the relationship between programs, pianos and samples. Let's select a program and see what pianos and samples it uses. And there you have it. A Wurlitzer, Chamberlain violins, a Mark II electric piano and Mellotron choirs. Let's see how many programs use the Electric Grand CP80. And there you have it, three of them. Let's say I'm thinking about removing some of the string samples. Uh, I wonder how many programs, for instance, this one uses. Oh, quite a few. This one, not so many, etc. This is a great way of getting information about the content in your Nord unit. The export sound lists command will create extensive lists of the memory content and the dependencies. These files can be displayed with any browser. This is opened up in the Safari on the Macintosh. And as you can see, quite a bit of information here about how the programs are designed. These files can also be imported in spreadsheet applications if you want to do your own formatting. This is how they look in Excel. The relink feature can change a certain piano or sample in all programs that use it to a new one that is in the Nord memory. Let's uh, use the brass section pop 1 as an example. I want to replace that with the Nord brass section from now in all the programs in my Nord stage 2. So I go to sample partition, look at the brass section pop 1. I right-click on this sample to bring up the context menu and select Relink. And here's the list of everything that's inside my Nord Stage 2 at the moment. And I select the section Sustain Fall and hit Relink. Now, as you can see, this makes the brass section pop one unused by any programs, whereas the Nord brass sample is now used by the three programs that previously used the brass pop one sample. 